what we're doing here is looking at, at looking at how to customize Yotpo once we've got it installed. Um, and there's quite a bit we can do to make it work uh, in different ways. So what we're going to do here is just flip through the install instructions if you're seeing them. Check obviously that you've done these. Here we go, up to the end. And then, great. Now, once we've got to there, there'll be a Let's Customize. So you click on the Let's Customize. And uh, we'll just check that the review e email after purchase seems reasonable. Um, that doesn't usually need to be changed. And there isn't much you can actually change. Now, the next thing we'd do is look at on site and we'd say reviews tab often. Uh, and what we can do there is say enable the reviews tab, tabs to show. Typically, we'd only show the product reviews, but it's always safer to start with both. Default would be products. Um, typically, we'd simply put a capital T there. Sorry, just capital R for reviews, R-E-V-I-E-W-S. Uh, I look to, like to put it on the right and just grab a color from the client's website. Make sure that the text color shows up on top of it. That'll look good. Um, and that's what it'll look like on the corner of the screen. Save now, if you want to actually embed all the reviews onto one page, this is where you can grab the script to do it and paste it into your theme. So we're going to save changes. And the other thing we can do that's worth, oh, I think I just, yes, I saved changes. Okay. Um, this is the another place you can get that embed code. We're not going to embed a widget for this store. Star rating, just double check that. No, we don't often use that. Um, and it's good to just check under collect reviews, email and general settings. Language. We can upload a logo for our site or we can go to the client's website. Copy image URL. Logo, just paste it into there. And there's the client's logo, the from name. So we'll just adjust. at the moment it's showing the dot my Shopify name. So .co.nz. We'll update that to the inter the external name from get the correct email and it's probably the same reply email. Save changes. Most of the other things can't be done on the free version. Um, and there is somewhere that we can change the color of the stars. It's worth looking for. It's not under star rating. It just looks like it should be. Just check if there's anything on the Shopify integration. That's already done typically when we install it. That's fine. Okay, now just double check. And all this is under tools. So if you see, you click on tools, this is how you get to it. Okay, so that's most of what we need to do there. We can save that and double check what's showing up on our site. If we refresh now, with a little bit of luck, after a second or two, we'll see our reviews tab, and that just stays on the side of the site. So anybody can click onto it from anywhere.